My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here is a very special, very rare tent. It's so rare, in fact, only 50 of these tents have been made. This is the Sierra Designs Mojo UFO tent, and it debuted 12 years ago. It was incredibly innovative for the time, as it featured top-of-the-line materials. This is a two-person tent that weighs so little, it is, in fact, the lightest two-person tent freestanding tent ever made. What sets this tent apart from other shelters is that it's extremely lightweight. It features top of the line materials, top of the line materials that are also incredibly strong. And at the same time, this is a two person shelter, a two person shelter that weighs less than two pounds. At the same time, everyone, this is a fourth season tent. Basically, this is a hybrid tent of sorts that you can use all year round. To keep the weight down for this tent, the company used two main materials. We're looking at what used to be called Cuban fiber that's now known as Dynamo, and it also features Easton carbon fiber poles. Cuban fiber is known for being exceptionally strong. This material is so strong, it is used as sails on sailboats. Think about how strong the material would have to be to be used as a sail on a sailboat. To put up with those type of forces, that's impressive. What blows my mind about this tent is that this was developed 12 years ago. It was super incredibly ultralight then, and it still is today. In fact, there are very few two-person tents today that come in under two pounds. They are a rarity. The vast majority of those tents are actually trekking pole tents, where the tent itself is like one and a half pounds, but once you factor in the weight of your trekking poles, the weight goes up to over two pounds. I'll tell you what, everybody, let's go ahead, let's stop there, and let's do a component breakdown. Let me show you all the interesting form factor of this tent, and we'll go over everything that's included. With the Mojo UFO tent, the first thing that really stands out to you when you see this is the interesting shape of the storage bag. This is what they call an envelope. This is extremely uncommon. In fact, I cannot think of any tent that has this type of storage bag. If you do a better job than I did when packing this up, you can get this tent to be rather flat inside of the storage bag. Right here in the center, you have a single button with a strap that goes around that button. Once you unfold the storage bag, you have a section of Velcro holding this closed. Tell you what, before I open this up, it says Sierra Designs Mojo UFO Top Secret, designed in Boulder, Colorado. Here we have the tent. Here we have the carbon fiber poles. And here we have the tent stakes. It's kind of funny, folks. These tent stakes feel heavier than this tent. What we have here are aluminum tent stakes. So think about that. We could actually replace these with some titanium stakes and make this entire setup here even lighter weight. Something that's very interesting about this pole system is that it's composed of four separate sections. You have two short poles and one long pole. You take those poles and they connect to this hub. Then you can take the pole and you can put it over the body and from there you can attach it. As I set this up, you can tell that this is a fly first pitch tent, meaning that you can set this tent up without the inside of the tent getting wet. Overall, everyone, the setup process here is super simple, super fast. Now that the tent is set up, I can tell you all that the setup process of this tent is super simple. All you have to do is throw down the body, put the pole over the top, clip it, and stake it out. Now, technically, this is a freestanding tent. Once you have the pole connected and you have the body clipped on, you're done. But if you want the best setup, the best ventilation, and so on, you will definitely want to stake this out. Once this is staked out, the ventilation inside of this tent is top notch, which is fantastic for warmer conditions, not so great for wintertime conditions, especially if it's windy. With this tent here, it's more of a hybrid and typically hybrids are good at everything they're a master of nothing and that's certainly true here in the summertime it's a little bit warm in the wintertime it's a little bit cold but the fact that it's a hybrid makes it incredibly unique another factor to this tent that's unique is basically the fly the fly is interconnected with the body but the way that the fly lays over the top of the tent i've never seen anything like this before it gives you excellent protection and at the same time excellent ventilation speaking of the fly we have the door here underneath this door we do have quite a bit of vestibule space 
space, more than enough for two backpacks or some shoes or whatever. You can even use that space to cook under. With the door here, we have a storm flap that goes over the zippers. We have two guy line placements. Right underneath that, we have a vent. You can see here on the side how the fly pulls away from the body, giving you excellent airflow. This extends to the back side as well. On the very back of the tent at the bottom, we have a guy line placement, which I have to say is a little bit strange because it's so low down on the back of the tent. With the door rolled back, this is how you enter the tent here. So we have a large mesh door, one zipper, and as we go inside of this tent, look at how much mesh there is. Again, this is a hybrid tent, wintertime and summertime tent. So it's a mixture of both worlds, so to speak. You have the strength for snow loading and strong winds, but at the same time, it's designed for ventilation and airflow. Because this is a hybrid tent, it really does make this tent highly unusual. As you all can see here, inside of this tent, there's plenty of space for two people. You can have two sleeping pads side by side. Each person has enough room to change clothes and so on to do whatever they want to. Again, the inside of this tent is covered in mesh, and the airflow inside of this is really good, and it should be, namely because these materials are somewhat translucent. So with the sun being out, I can see the sun through this material, the heat is just coming through. There's basically nothing here to block that from happening. The material's not dark enough to really insulate the inside of this tent. We do have two pockets here, one on each side, and as far as features go, that's pretty much it, folks. In a nutshell, this is the Mojo UFO tent. I've always called this tent the Mofo, <laughs> not the Mojo. I was able to purchase this tent back in 2012 thanks to a viewer, and since that point in time, I have used this tent all across the country. This is a tent that, over the years, has performed exceptionally well for me. One aspect that's really impressive, to me at least, is just how well this is held up. At no point in time have I ever had an issue with this tent, and I'm talking about using it in snowstorms with tons of snow, lots of ice. I've used this in heavy rain events. And the truth is, I've had some amazing adventures in this tent, with this tent. Let's see, I don't remember exactly how many years ago it was, but it was with my son. We did a two day, 34 mile adventure, and we started at Grayson Highlands, and we backpacked all the way down to Damascus, Virginia. That trip ended with heavy rain coming in that night, and my son and I having to walk like 17 miles in the pouring rain. We were both kind of miserable, but at the same time, we were having a blast. We wrapped up that trip by grabbing cheeseburgers and fries. Anyways, without a doubt, this tent has held up extremely well, and I am incredibly lucky to own this. That's especially true when you consider that only 50 of these tents were ever made. I've spoken quite a bit about this tent being the lightest tent ever made, back in 2012 and even today. The weight of this tent with all of the components is 1.6 pounds. That's including everything, the tent, the poles, the stakes. If we wanted to replace the stakes, we could go even lighter weight. Now, of course, with all of that innovation and the higher end materials comes a high cost. Back in 2012, this tent cost $1,800. Today, this tent would cost $2,417. Once you factor in inflation and so on. So without a doubt, this tent was uber expensive back then, and it would still be today. Before I say goodbye, my question for you all is this. What do you all think about the Mojo, or as I call it, the Mofo UFO tent? What do you all think about this? It's incredibly rare, incredibly expensive, and also incredibly cool. Make sure to hit the like button before you go. It is appreciated. At the same time, it helps the channel. Everybody, take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.